Anyways. Let's guess this price. In this game, I will be asking a popular YouTuber about five different Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Each round, the guests will have five questions about the rounds chosen. Okay, just as a reminder for myself as well, this used to be just guess the price of the card. Uh, but it's now also the year of the first printing, the first set, what the, the rarity was, how many printings it has, and then what is the price, which is very cool. I like the new system a lot Each for answer this. Is worth also, the good news is that this one is not nearly as long as the Simo one. The point, until the final round where they must guess that card's price. The better the answer, the more points the guest receives. Can your favorite YouTuber win the ultimate prize? You will just have to watch to find out. If you want to win the giveaway for this video, which is half of the prize money won during today's game show, just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below who do you want to see on the next episode of Guess That Price Season 2? Welcome back to Guess That Price Season 2, Episode 2. And we have a guest that did not make an appearance on the first season, but you probably know him. Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! How are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, I'm excited to uh, test my knowledge. Uh, if I don't, if I get the vintage questions right and miss the rest, I, uh, I think I'll do, do it. Bro, ask Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! about Wanted, please. To, uh, That'd be so funny. Do, so we'll, it'll be an interesting competition. Well, the name Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh, I mean, it is your name. So you have to get the vintage right. Yeah, uh, anything else I think can be forgiven at that point. Yeah, I'm excited. I uh, expect some challenges. Uh, probably a card will be completely unknown to me, but um, roll the dice and hopefully I can win, win some money for a, uh, a lucky uh, commenter. Yeah, and the fun part about this year is not only the commenters get winnings, but you can also win some money too. So if you can get that top prize, you guys will. Would you go on Roxanne's guess that price? I mean, I was on it in season one. I'm we'll not both be going. You and a random viewer, two. 500 bucks. So if you guys want to enter that giveaway, make sure you do it. Let's get into the first card. Let's not waste any time because these can these can take a long time yeah. sometimes. Yeah. First card. Are you ready? I am ready. Is the Cyber Laser Dragon. What year and what set was this card? Okay. Cybernetic Revolution which is 2005. And it was originally a super rare and an ultimate rare, I think. Or is it not Cybernetic Revolution? Oh, you guys are saying Shadow of Infinity. Was it not Cybernetic Revolution? But it was a super rare and an ultimate. I know that. Ooh, you guys are saying it's not Cybernetic Revolution. Okay. Print it in. Well, um, I'm going to say honest. I would have said Cybernetic Revolution, so I'm nine, wrong on that one, probably. If you guys are sure saying a Shadow of Infinity, you might Shadow be right. Shadow of Infinity, and mm. I believe that was right before Tactical Evolution, which is 2007. So I'm going to lock it in as Shadow of Infinity 2007. All right, that's your final answer? Yes. All right, Lewis. Shadow of Infinity was released on March 15th, 2006. Ooh. So Ooh, you get one year. point. Uh, you got Shadow of Infinity. Yeah, 2007 sounded too late. Infinity, right? That's fine. That's but fine. you, you got to work on those GX years, man. That's a little bit after vintage. I mean, it's vintage-y now, but so it doesn't really count. But yeah, half right's good for me. <laughs> you get one point. That's not too bad. And now you get to do the rarity of the original printing, which I think you may or may not know. Let's find out. Super. You said Cyber Laser. Cyber Laser Dragon. And yeah. you know the set. Yeah, I get always get confused. I think that it's like the ultra you don't want to pull. No, it's not ultra. It comes as an ultimate but it also could be a random rare. But I think I think it's the ultra that you don't want to pull, so I'm going to go the original rarity was ultra ultimate in that set. Final answer. You are... I was talking. Correct. Ooh, this what? is the ultra of the four ultras. You have three sacred beasts, and you have cyber laser dragon. Yeah, really? So you also could have just... What? Nah. Cyber Laser Dragon. Hello? Oh, I need to refresh. Ultra! What the hell? I could have sworn this was a super rare. What?
Cyber Barrier. Oh, this one was super. That's what messed me up. I thought they were the same. Okay. All right. My, I, I mean, hey, okay. Just said ultimate, okay. and you would have been right. Yeah. So you could do that as well. But yeah. bonus, <laughs> so bonus you got, coverage. yeah, one point there. Uh, good job. Uh, I mean, technically, I did say it was the ultimate, and he said if you just say ultimate, it's also correct. So technically, I was right. Technically, I was right. I said ultimate. Identifying the second rarity as well. You have two points out of possible three. You're doing pretty good so far. Now for one of the harder spots that we've had yes, so far. Yes. The multiple choice. This can get a little dicey sometimes. How many printings does the Cyber Laser Dragon have? You have I mean, legit. I can see there's a rare on here, which I think is Dark Revelation. Um, like Dark Revelation 3 or 4. Probably 4. It has the, the Ultra and the Ulti, so that's three at least. But it probably... It's a Cyber Dragon card. There's no way it doesn't have, like, random Duelist Pack Zane or Structure Deck, uh, Cyber Dragon, whatever decks, uh, reprints. Like, there's probably more. But you get four multiple choice for here. this, right? First option, A, two printings. B, four printings. C, seven printings. Or D, six printings. Wow. Ooh, that's... Well, so, two is definitely wrong. I know for wrong. a fact it's more than two. Two is definitely wrong. Four, I know of three. Four seems a little low. I would say six or seven, but I would be 50-50 guessing. I don't know. I'll flip a coin. Hold up. Flip a coin. Heads, seven. Tails, six. It's heads. So I'm saying seven. Because there's two in Shadow of Infinity. And I also know it's in a Duelist pack. So that's at least three. Um, so then the other options are four, six, and seven. I'm yep. going to guess it got printed in some random structure deck or um, or some later later set that was kind of, you know, machine driven or something. You do have a lifeline. So don't forget yeah, those. Yeah. Uh, four, six, or seven. So, But I've already eliminated one. So I'd like to use the lifeline probably on one that I have absolutely no idea on. So Smart. Uh, four, six, or seven. Seven is doesn't seem like outlandish, but I'm always like, uh, you know, it's like, a, I mean, we're on a game show, so you always want to lean away from the extremes, but maybe you're tricking me by putting it as the extreme. Um, I'm going to take a Who shot. Knows? I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say six. Final answer. All right. The Cyber Laser Dragon has four printings. Ah, and die. you do three of them. You're right. There's one God, other one what, that you didn't know. What, what was that? That's a great question. Let me, let me actually pull that up. Yeah, so it was Duelist Pack 4, Zane Truesdale, and uh, then Dark Zane. Revelation 4 also had a rare as well. So it has two rare printings Fuck. other than the two main printings. So okay. pretty obscure printings. I named three. I thought I just thought a Cyber Dragon card would have more than one other print. God damn it. To be yeah, honest, it's kind of weird. Yeah, so. In... Also, shout out to Scrub who said, "Pick seven or you are bad," <laughs> and then followed it up with a "fuck." Over a decade. <laughs> All right, now we get to the the namesake of the game, the price. Yes. I will be asking you about the Shadow of Infinity Ultimate Rare First Edition printing. Okay. What is the price of the First Edition Ultimate Rare from Shadow of Infinity? Right. Near me. Okay, listen, because I have something to say. I. I have no fucking idea. Uh, it's an old ultimate rare. It's a cyber dragon. So I would have a hard time saying anything under like 80, 90 to 100, but that's probably more. I'll say 110. Of course. Yeah. So TCG we, player price priced by like lowest listing. Yeah, we've already kind of talked about it being the least desirable. So that kind of oh, puts in an interesting category because, you know, the the you know, Urea and, and Hammond and all of them are, are probably close to closer to a thousand, but this one, ah, it's tough. Definitely under the hundred dollar mark, what? but probably not under the fifty dollar mark. So I'm somewhere in that fifty to a hundred dollar range. So I might just kind of shoot for the middle and say seventy five. Damn. But, um, it is still an ultra ulti, which are you know you have to have a hobby box, and then you're still only getting probably one out of twelve boxes. Sounds pretty rare. Yeah, it is rare. So, but rarity always do, doesn't always equal, um, you know, value, unfortunately. But sometimes it does. Sometimes it does. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna say 
$88. I'm gonna lean closer to 100 just because I do think it should be it should be worth close to 100, I think. So, but I'm gonna lean on the under side. Don't forget you have lifelines on every category. I know. Bro, I hate when you're, you're that. Like, it's probably like 200 or 300 bucks. Just give me the answer. I'm gonna Interesting. Stick, I'm gonna stick Go with gaslight. 88. I could be way off, but 88. You're sticking with 88. I'm sticking with 88. Not two or 300 bucks. No, no. The Cyber Laser Dragon. Mr. Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, it's probably $200. It's $280. Whoa! <laughs> I would never, I don't. Bro, you guys in chat are saying like 20 bucks or some shit like that. You guys would be fooled on the playground. You guys would trade this for a freaking, uh, you know, whatever, man. I mean, I was still way off with 110. I would never pay that much. It is a cy it's a cyber dragon card. Yes. And it's ultra rare and it's in Shadow of Infinity. I mean, yeah. it is still pretty high. Like when I saw this, I was like, oh, I'd wow, still that's trade pretty it high. For a bonfire. It <laughs> Bro, that's like four bonfires. It kind of checks out, well, but at Europe the same right time, now. it's like, wow, that no. is a lot for a cyber I, laser dragon. Yeah, I would I would buy a lot of cards over that. For if they were $88, dollars. I feel like I would I would pick up a couple yeah. because they're pretty nice. But 288, it's, it's like, uh, that's yeah. that's a little, right. well, that's pushing it. Throw that one in the trash can, but that's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. No big deal. You got four to go. You've got two points right now. Not the best start, but that's okay. <laughs> you have four more chill, cards to Rexon. make up for Hopefully it. Hopefully my lifeline saved me. I think this next one you're gonna do okay. Let's see. All right. Well, yeah. The next card is Eye of Tamias. Oh God, dude! What? what is the year and set of I the original printing? I don't even know where printing? this came out. I think I know the rarity. If it's the first set, is this legendary duelist? I have no idea about this card. Um, if it's a set, I'm thinking of it's a Dragons of Legends 2014. Um, God, damn. A Dragons what? of Legends set. Really? And I think the. Mm. Okay, uh, what I, I need from you guys it's for context, because I have no idea what what relevant stuff competitively was in that set, because then I'm going to soul charge. Okay, there you go. That's what I needed. Okay, 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 okay. There's been a few of those. Fire yeah, hand, soul know, charge, like okay. Unleashed or, you know, there's been, there's been, yeah, there's been a few. But I Mathematician, think, yeah, right, okay. One. So that was, that was 2014 then, yeah. But I mean, number of printings and original rarity. I'm guessing that set was it's probably a secret rare then originally. With uh, the dark magician girl, uh, the the popular card that Tim has like twelve of. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think it's that set. Okay, do you and know when that came out? I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark because a guy actually randomly messaged me about uh, Dragons of Legend, and I so I had to look it up. So I'm I'm randomly going to lock in. Dragons of Legend and lock in the year 2014. Final answer? That is my final answer. Dragons of Legend is the correct set, and it was released on April 25th, 2014. Let's go! <laughs> that, that is. I would have failed this. Like, uh, I, I would have failed this 100%. This guy, There's no. I mean, I didn't know the set uh, and the year. I also random, didn't know it was that like old. Two days ago, sent me. A, he had a hundred pack distribution box. Of Dragons of Legend, he's like, "Hey, you know, wow, what, you know what this is worth," and so I had to do some research on Dragons of Legend. So that, like, I wouldn't know any of that if it wasn't for that. So that that, that that's crazy. All favor. right, that's perfect. He somehow knew you were gonna get that yeah, question. Yeah. Okay, do you know the rarity of that card? I'm ninety percent sure. Oh, wow, no, nah, actually, I'm probably fifty fifty between Ultra and Secret. Um, you do was have there life ultras? Yeah. Was there ultras in that set? Because it was, I mean, it had supers because that was soul charge. It had secret. That was all the hands and all that. I don't know if those sets had ultras. I, 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 so I'm going to say secret. So the lifeline in this category. What? You get a second guess. Ooh, second so if you guess. know it's one of two, you could guarantee it basically. Yeah. Or you could take the 50-50. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll do this. I'll do the lifeline on this one. I'll, I'll guarantee myself okay. a point. All right, I, I I go back and forth. It doesn't really matter, I guess. But I will I will guess ultra first. Lewis. Yep. It's a good thing you used a lifeline. Ooh. It is not an ultra. All right, so I will guess secret and hopefully be right, but I still could be wrong. Lewis. Yes. Lifeline gives you one extra guess. <sighs> one point, mean. And fortunately for you, it was a secret rare, so you <sighs> do get one point. 
All right, that's your first one. Is, is a master gaslighter, dude. I find it has what been used, hell? but it was well worth it because yeah. you got a point. Yeah, so I went back and well forth, done. Like, I think I actually randomly pulled it and I like picture pulling it as a secret, but then also I picture it like sitting in my binder as an ultra. So, well, there is an ultra in Unleashed, I believe. Ah, okay, okay. What? So Spoilers. I'll give you a little hint for the next question, but right. it's not going to change well, I know too much. There's at least three printings then. Spoiler alert they're all more than three on the answer. So all right, all right. here we go. Number of printings okay. for the eye of Tamias. We have four options. A, eight printings. Uh oh. B, five printings. C, 10 printings or D, six printings. Uh okay, 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 okay. You know what's going on here? You know what I think? I think this is one of those cards that was one in the in one of those legendary duelists that has like a couple different color ultra rares. We had one of those in the last episode too. I think this one is one of those too. So that's at least four printings. That's all I have. Plus the original one, that's at least five. So with all that information I've just deducted, I am now able to exclude not a single answer because the minimum is five. Fuck. Okay, so we're guessing. A, B, C, or D. Uh, it has a ghost rare? Okay. I'll say eight. Okay, so I know for a fact and there's three if there's Unleashed and eight. then there's a the original and then uh, there's a ghost and ghost from the past two. And right, then, yeah. uh, I think it was a pretty expensive card when it came out, so I assume it got printed uh, quite a few times in random, you know, uh, side sets and this and that. I gotta pause, my cat is meowing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? So yeah, I, I know of at least three printings in the original Unleashed and Ghost from the Past 2 as a ghost. So the options were what? 8, 5, 10, and 6. All right, I'm gonna stick with my uh, my mindset on the first one and say it's probably not 10 but i do believe it's probably more than five or six so i'm gonna guess eight and save the lifeline for one that um maybe i have absolutely no idea on final answer eight is locked in i have tamias has eight printing easy clap we're the best all right you Rain. nailed it and and funny enough, they're almost all Dragons of Legend because uh, they did four in the completed series. Oh, I think it was four. Yeah, four printings in the complete series, that recent reprint thing they did, that little oh, box. Oh, yeah, They yeah, have yeah, the yeah, blue yeah. version, the green uh, version, the purple version. So, like, it was Unleashed Dragons of Legend. Le he, he's, he's such a narc for including those, by the way, as four different printings. It's so fucked. It's messed up. Legendary Dragon decks it's actually messed that they up. did we don't talk several about that years enough. ago, and then the Ghost Rare. That was it. But there was four at once. Yeah, I remember that little box. That was one thing. One that shit is crazy for a game show. <laughs> to count that as four printings. Yeah, it wasn't great. So, you're doing good on the Eye of Tamiya so far. You've gotten all the points. Yeah, Let's that, see. That's shocking, actually. Let's see if you can keep this up. All right. Because uh, we have to do at least a $10 card, we're doing the Ghost Rare version. Oh, okay. Okay. Because the secret was like seven bucks yeah, or something. So say, we didn't do yeah, that. I, would assume. I have no idea. 41. I assume since it's been so so reprinted that, it, that the original would be cheaper. Yeah, it's not too expensive. So we're going to gonna do the first edition Ghost Rare printing from Ghost from the Past. Two Ghost from the Past mm. 2. 41 exactly What's the price? on the dot. Well, I have actually sold a couple of these on TCG Player within the last few months. So I have a decent idea and some, unless something crazy has happened, uh, uh, you know, Meta wise or something that would chart cause it to spike. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's the least desirable secret in all of Ghosts from the Past 2. And I think it was kind of floating right around 15 to $20. No, I'm um, off so I'll far. $18. Final answer on that? Final answer, $18. This card, the Eye of Tobias Ghost Rare, is $14. Uh, no, I, was, I thought he was going to say just four. Snuck I guess in it's in the wrong order. Because it's 4.2 no, yeah. for to get in that 30%. No, I didn't mean so 41. I did, so I mean, honestly, I though, one four, dude. would you get five fuck. points right there? Yeah, yeah. Three or four, maybe four. No, because you got two on the first question with the year in the set. You got one for the rarity, one on the multiple choice, oh, and then yeah. one right there yep. on the oh, thing. So it. you got five points to add to your two. Oof. So you're up to seven points now. No, not too shabby. That's not bad. Let's go on to card number three. XX Saber High Unlay. Okay, oh, absolute yeah, power that force. Is my language. <laughs> absolute power force 2011. Ultra rare slash ultimate. Wait, no, 2010. This thing's legal in Edison. 
Uh, so it has to be 2010. Absolute Power Force 2010. Ultra Rare, Ultimate Rare. Yeah. <laughs> so that's from your favorite set, potentially. Yeah, potentially. That's an easy one. Absolute Power Force 2010. The XX Saber High Unlay is from Absolute Power Force, and it was released on February 16th, 2010. I figured you would know yeah. at least the set in the year for this one because yeah. you love this set. Yeah. So two points. Now the question is, do you know the rarity? All right, so another quick side, side quest. The same guy that sent me that Dragons of a Leash box had a distribution box of Absolute Power Force with 100 Ooh. packs in it that I bought off of him and i ended up ripping almost all of them just <laughs> and i actually pulled it uh pulled that card and that is the only card from that set that i do not have in psa 10 in ultimate rare wow that uh and it's a candidate so it's at psa right now hopefully we'll get a 10 and so that that personal story will lead me to the answer of this question being it is an ultra but also an ultimate and its highest rarity from absolute power force final answer you are correct. You're running through this one really easily. But now I'm wondering, do you know how many printings this card has? That, that is has this thing been reprinted? Because it's at least two. What are the options? I don't know if it's been question. reprinted. <laughs> okay, here are I the would options. Guess at least once. A, four printings. B, six printings. C, eight printings. Or D, two printings. Oh. I could definitely see this only being printed in Absolute Power Force. Because you think it's I... only two? Has this never been reprinted? Do you know? Really? Even the Ultra has some decent value, um, which lets me. I didn't know that. If it had been printed as, you know, a, a common or a rare in a later set, and I don't ever remember. I I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm skewed because you guys in chat are saying it's only two. Um. I, if I was on that show without any Twitch chat, I would have probably said like four, like, because I would probably guess it's been reprinted at some point, but you guys are all saying two, so it's probably two. We're seeing it in a later set. You still have lifelines. Uh, I know, I know. It just depends like what the last two But I would have said four, I think. Funny. And it depends how nice you are with your lifeline. <laughs> uh, I'm going to let it ride, and I am going to say that it has only been printed those two times in Absolute Power Force locked in all right you're getting gutsy because you already know it has two printings for sure yep, because yep. of the answer earlier and you're saying there's not a single other printing uh, that's what i'm telling you vintage Yu-Gi-Oh. your logic was sound it has two printings Woo! yeah i would have yeah, gotten that wrong i'm glad i didn't ever think that another yeah if you would if you had gone astray after saying well the ultra has a good uh, pretty high price so and i was like yeah he's right on if you had changed after that that would have been sad yeah, yeah. Four points, you're running through this one, not which bad. is not a surprise. No, it's it's an absolute power force. Yeah, should do well now. But the question is, do you know the price of the first set ultimate rare in near mint at the moment? Ooh, it's not it's not really it's playable in Edison, but it's not relevant. So it's not one of those spiked because of Edison into Oblivion. So I don't think this is a super expensive ulti. But it's I would ah, 40, 50, 45. Maybe 60-ish. I don't know. I'll say 45. Uh, yeah, I got to kind of take the pedestal. Or take, like, I'm, I'm used to dealing with a lot of PSA 10 and 9 cards. But so 45 take, take is on the, the lower end, I think. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if it was a little higher. Line. But I don't yeah, think it's 100 green, or something like that. I don't think it's uh, that crazy. But nothing in Absolute Power Force is that crazy. But I do think this is possibly, besides Battle Fader. I think Battle Fader is still over Battle Fader is expensive because Edison. This is definitely a top two or three card in Absolute Power Force. But I think this one, I'm going to say it's right around 50, but I don't think it's quite at 50. I think it's like, we'll say $47. Bro, I said Locking. 45. We're Locking it at $47? Yes. <sighs> Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. Is it 46? <laughs> You nearly had a, a really, I mean, you already did. You had a really good one, but you, it 45. was almost better. But you did, by saying 50 and then sneak it down oh, to 47, 50. you actually got within 20%. It's a $40 card. Oh, okay. So you get Very two good. points out of that. That's the first ever two-point guess on Easy Guess clap. That Price Season 2. We're the best. That was even was better even than your Eye of Tamias. You just got two 
six points there. Yeah, so you're up to 13 points with two cards, two, two full cards left. So uh, there's some potential here for you to do pretty well. Yeah, it can go downhill fast. Bro, how the hell are you supposed to get 36 points, man? <laughs> the hell? It can go downhill fast. And let's up. see if this yeah, next card will do that. All right. The next card is the Alligator's Sword Dragon. Uh, I'm going to guess it wasn't Bro, first what? released as the World Championship promo 2011. I have no idea, Unless man. It really throwing me a curveball because I know it. that's where it was released as a super, but uh, maybe it was. Is that like, are those like side sets and like like cards? I'm not even going to try I, because I, I genuinely don't know. I have no idea. All that. Is that possible answers or not? Anything is a possible answer for its first release. Anything is a possible answer. Okay. Okay. So like if I gave you a crush card and it was first SJC, it would it would be yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like there's just some well, I cards know that. that for some reason just give me the like crush card. Really iconic cards from the show and whatnot that just never got printed in the TCG until random moments, and I want to think that's probably one of them. But um, and I don't know. It's I'm, a world promo pack from 2010. Versions, well, um, I don't know that. In random starter decks, maybe and such like that. Because uh, I know there's like Toon Alligator and stuff and like Pegasus starter deck, but I don't think that card is printed in it. Yeah, I'm going to go with um, WP. <laughs> Imagine they take, they pick like one of those McDonald's cards, dude. How fucked up would that be? You're like, yeah, this was first printed in the freaking Happy Meal. 11, which is 2011 as my final answer. Lewis. Yes. You're going to be kicking yourself after this one. Is it started at Pegasus? This was released in the World Championship Pack 2010, oh! August 14th, 2010. You forgot uh. about the rares. <laughs> this is the very forgettable year because they did all rares. And then the next year they did all of them in like super, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Which I know, you know. Yes, I do know. And you just remembered. So that, that, <laughs> that that's a tough one. Thank you for giving me the answer to the next question, though. <laughs> yeah, I think you knew this one anyway. Yeah, so I what's did. the rarity? It's a rare. Yeah. Okay, one point. <sighs> look, I look, it's, I knew as soon as you said 2011 that you forgot 2010. Yeah, I, was, so oh, I, it, was, uh, I had the blinders on for 2011. Yeah, so you knew, and those were all rare, so yeah. you knew that. Okay, now we go for the number printings. You still got, you've gotten one out of, out of three points, so that first mm -hmm. one kind of got you, because yeah. that was three points right yeah. there, or two points right there, but that's okay. You could bring it back right here. You still have multiple choice. Bro, I know, okay, he, they already talked about the two very old printings, but I know it has reprints by now. And there's also, uh, there's a speed duel one pictured here. So it has, uh, it's, I mean, it's at least three, thing. but I think yeah. it's Bonus. more. What's it called? Lifeline. There yeah. we go. Yeah. All right. Your four options here are A, six printings, B, 10 printings, C, eight printings, or D, five printings. Uh, six. All right. I think I'm going to calculated lifeline here and get rid of two. Okay. That seems like a good idea. All right. So the two that are going to be eliminated are... D five printings and B ten printings. Okay, so there's six. What what two are left? Eight and eleven. Six and eight. Six and eight. <laughs> six and eight. Yeah. Ooh, all right. This is still gonna be a complete guess because I know I know they've been printed as commons through Do it then. things. Yes. So I know two. Maybe they were printed in some random, you know, dualist league thing as the four color text. So there's only then the, there's four there, so that would make six. Or maybe they've just been randomly printed, you know, four other times. Eight does seem like a lot for that card, especially when it's first released. <laughs> Go down the middle and say seven. It's really not a reason <laughs> to have that many. Oh, damn it, scroll. That late of release. Yeah, I'm going to go with six. Final answer? Locked in. Final answer. Unfortunately, this card does have eight no. printings. <sighs> well, and oof. wow, they're all weird. They're okay. all weird. I knew, I knew it they has had to be. Speed Duel decks huh. got one. Turbo Pack 8 got a rare. Speed Duel Streets of Battle City. They did it twice in Speed Duel. They have Legendary Deck 2. Legendary Collection 4. Joey's World is a common. Then the World Championships 2010, 2011. And then Duel Terminal 4. None of these are like, they're all random. Obscure. Throw them in the trash can. Yeah, that one. That one's super tough. So, okay. Let's Oof. see if you can make back some points here yeah. with the price. Yeah. Of, we're going to do, and because you already brought it up, the 2011 super printing. <laughs> oh god, okay, this one's tough. This is one of those cards I... where, no matter what I say, I'm gonna be terribly wrong. Because if I say 
Ah, world championship promo, probably freaking expensive, 200. Then he's going to say like, yeah, this is absolute trash, two bucks, right? And if I say, yeah, this is not expensive, 10 bucks, then it's going to be like 2000, right? So whatever I say is going to be wrong. I know that already. But world championship promo, I, I just have to guess expensive, right? I'm going to say like 250. I do have it in a PSA 9, and I think I valued it. Um, the guy was in a kind of a hurry to move it, and I valued it around raw value. I don't want to know the, the last card and not need to use the lifeline, so I do think I'm going to use the lifeline on this category as well and just let it okay. let it ride on the last card. So my, I like over, it. my over under on this card is going to be... Yeah, TCG player is weird too because there could be. Very yeah, keep few. in mind it's TCG player lowest listing, yeah. and there were not a lot of listings of this. I'll tell you few, that. Very few listings. Yeah, over uh, under is going to be three hundred and thirty five dollars. This card is more than three hundred and thirty five dollars. Oh okay. God, okay. see, I figured it would. Oh be, God. I wanted to make sure that there wasn't some random listing. Jesus Christ. All right, uh, I'm gonna go. If it's like, if there's like $500 or something stupid because <laughs> uh, everyone's probably laughing like, oh, this is like $700 on TC, but all right. You could argue, you could argue that most of the prices for these kind of cards are stupid. So. And this is Alligator Swords <laughs> Dragon, the Fusion. Yes, the Fusion, yes. Yes, not Alligator Swords. No, no, not Alligator Sword, no. I'm going to go with $415 in. But with TCG player, you never know. But I'm going to go 415. I think it should be less than that. But with TCG player, I got to put in a little buffer. It's probably like $600 or something stupid. But 415. <laughs> All right. You didn't do so well on this card. Uh oh. Uh, 700, 800, 900. But you did very oh. well on the price of <laughs> oh. this card. Ooh. It is $400, which means you get three points on this part jesus on christ all right man. 17 total points you've currently matched simo in episode one so if you get any points on this last card you will be our new leader <laughs> for best <laughs> scores no pressure no, no pressure. pressure especially since 20 points actually gets you to the next benchmark which is uh 50 wow. in the reward so okay. let's see if you can do that right, last card are you ready lewis yes and how are you feeling right now about your performance? I'm shocked that I did so well on like I to Myas and kind of disappointed I did on that. So it's probably averaging out to about what it should be, I'd say. I think that's fair. Okay, last card is the Gladiator Beast Retiari. Crossroads of Chaos. It's 2009? 2009. Eight? Is it eight? That's the Black Rose set, isn't it? Was Black Rose out in 2008? Very late 2008. Okay. Okay. Uh, I believe this only has two printings. I believe when I picked these up for Edison format, I think they were expensive. I think uh, it has a secret rare. It was a secret rare in Cross Swords of Chaos. And it has a rare in a, I think, turbo pack. So I, I can only think, I think it's only two printings. Okay. Yeah, this one is well over the head of knowledge. Um, <laughs> all right. I'm going to guess. All right. Well, I'm definitely using... Um, Whatever lifeline I can use on this first category, using for sure. So give me whatever information you can give me. All right, so you get one word out of the set name. The word I'm going to give you, there's a word I could give you that would completely give it away. But then there's a word that... Give there, him chaos, dude. Chaos is so mean. There's a few options. So okay. I'm going to give you the word with a few options. All right. Give him off. Off. Chaos. Chaos. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't think it's battles of chaos. It could be... Dimension of Chaos. I don't think no. it's Invasion of Chaos. Um, yeah, I think and I'm sure there's other Chaos. I'm 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 sure it's in that like kind of 2000, probably seven to 2015 range of sets, and I'm sure there's <laughs> oh, that's eight years. That I don't even know of, but I do know Dimension of Chaos is kind of in that middle ground, and that's the only chaos set that i can think of that that might have that card in it so 
on a, an absolute Hail Mary, fourth and like 30, I'm going to say Dimension of Chaos. <laughs> Don't bring up the Auburn-Alabama game. Chelsea's <laughs> not going to be happy about that. <laughs> yeah, fourth and 30, Dimension of Chaos, and I think the year of that is 2012? So we're going to lock that in. This is how you can tell that they're a collector and not a meta player back in the day, right? Because, like, you freaking remember Glad Beasts. As a collector, probably not as much because those cards wouldn't mean that much to you. But as a player, dude, you remember that shit. And, and I could be five years off one way or the other. You were more than five years off, I think. All right. Gladiator Beast Retiari. Do you know this card at all? No, I could not tell you. The, the, I, couldn't, I couldn't tell you if it was an effect, a fusion, uh, anything, <laughs> nothing. Oh, well, this is going to be tough for you then. Okay. I was wondering if you would know this card because it came out in Crossroads of Chaos. Ooh, okay. On November 18th, 2008. So yeah. it's kind of in your range, like yeah. barely on the yeah. fringes. Yeah, uh, yeah. I just, unfortunately, I did not, I did not open a lot of crosshairs of chaos just because it's hard yeah. to get first edition packs and i don't like opening unlimited packs of sets at first <laughs> edition so yeah, yeah uh yeah that makes that makes sense i knew it was like that 2007 because you know there's a lot of gladiator beast in uh in gladiator's assault which is right, right. the same time frame this one's kind of a weird one that it just feels like it should be in gladiator's assault but it's not so i was a little i was trying to be a little tricky with that but then you didn't even know the card so it didn't matter yeah and if you if you had if i hadn't had the <laughs> lifeline i would have probably guessed gladiator's assault so uh yeah we, we would have been wrong still but i think i would have got the year right then maybe no, no. I think Letters of Soul might be 2007, 2007 I yeah, think. Yeah, it's the very last set yeah. of 2007, I think. Okay, well, now let's see if you can guess the rarities since you don't know the card. At least uh, you know the rarities in that set yeah, yeah. now. Uh, and I can eliminate Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a ghost. No, so now it's probably between Ultimate and Secret, and that is the coin flip. Uh, I'm going to guess Ultimate just because I think Oh, you my God, ultimate. you're hurting my soul. Uh, yeah, I'm going to lock in ultimate. It's probably a secret. I'm going to overthink it, but I'm locking in ultimate. You have officially overthought your first question. <laughs> it is a secret rare. <laughs> uh, this is one of the weirdest ones that, like, nobody even, like, remembers that this was a secret in here. Yeah. They're, like, I such do. a weird... Because, like, Crossroads of Chaos secrets are not very impactful for the no, most part. No. There's a couple of them, but you're mostly looking for the what? ulties or, like... I mean, in, in, this is probably the most impactful secret rare in the pack the ghost or whatever mm -hmm. so this one kind of they kind of overlook this rarity All here right, i gotta finish gotta finish strong here and get the 20. you gotta get a point here so you can you yeah. can pass simo yeah all right multiple choice number of friendings i made this one straightforward there All are right. four options a one b two c three or d four two gladiator beast i bet it's probably printed in some random deck uh because there's i mean I mean, there definitely are cards that only have one printing, but uh, not a lot of cards that are that old. I bet still have just one printing. I'm going to say two. Poggers. Final answer. All right. Did I overthink that one too? <laughs> I mean, you don't really know a lot about this card, so it's hard to really overthink it. Yeah. But what you did do was guess correctly. <laughs> it is two printings. <laughs> one in four, baby. One in four. Yeah, so it has a printing cross was a chaos, and then it got a turbo pack three printing. So it's been a turbo, very long time since it's pack. had one. Yeah. Yeah, you got to remember like, yeah. all the random turbo pack, OTS packs, all those. Like, those are the ones you really forget about or don't even know about. Yeah, the, you're like, oh, I didn't know that had a common in there yeah. or a rare or something yeah. like that. So, all right, you're up to 18. If you can get this thing within 20%, you can get 20 points. All right. All so right. I am, since there are only two printings, I am asking. Uh, this thing in first edition is actually quite expensive. Uh, I don't, it, because it is also relevant for like retro formats. Like Glad is not the best deck in Edison, but it's playable. Uh, and also, I mean, like if you play other retro formats, Glads are also relevant there. I think uh, I, I think I picked one of these up, but that was like a year ago or something like that. And I think I already paid over 40 like a year ago for a first edition one. I don't remember exactly. I think it's more now. I think it's like 75. And then like TCG player, let's add a little bit to it. Let's say 85. Thinking about the first edition Crossroads of Chaos secret rare printing. All right. In so, your mitt. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't think a lot of... The cards in that set have a lot of value, but it's more than $10. I do know that. Yeah, it's guaranteed. Guaranteed more than 10 And 
it is still like very expensive packs and first edition secret rare which is probably like one in 24 to one in 30 pull odds um, so there's definitely some rarity there to warrant the value playability no idea uh, never know if it was relevant or if you pulled it and you were angry at the world <laughs> uh, I cannot imagine this being more than like fifty dollars. I want to float around the fifty dollars. It's more than fifty. I don't think it might not even be that. It's more than yeah, fifty. I guess forty-two dollars. Final answer? Yeah, I don't like it, but it is my final answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you don't really know this card, so I, I can't expect you to really like know too much. But unfortunately, this card is a hundred dollars. Yeah, is it the best? Yeah, I was closer to it, but I also what, what did I say? Eighty five? Yeah, yeah it's even more than that. Is there more than one? So it is playable. I think it's a one of in the Gladiator Beast deck. So Edison stuff. Then it's the first edition. You know, with Crossroads yeah, of Chaos yeah. is always. Just it's a one of in Glad Beast. Some people cite a second one. Yeah, just crazy. So yeah, underplayed the value, uh, it, the rarity. It has some. It has some use in Gladiator Beast decks. It's actually a pretty good card. Yeah, I mean, you didn't you didn't even know which card it was, so I can't expect you to know I'll that to, one. I'll but have to, have to look a picture of it up. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, on, on the previous season, I would send a picture, but I can't now because it would have like you know some info that yeah, you would get yeah. some of the, the answers. Yeah. So yeah, Gladiator Beast Retiari, that was your ultimate downfall. But still, you did better than Simo. You did pretty well. Yeah, I had to my and uh, high only really came through for me. Yeah, those were those were big for you. That's the thing. All right. That was fun. I like the new style a lot. I like it a lot because it really makes you think back to the old days. You know, what when did this come out? What rarity did it release in? When it's been, when has it been reprinted? As someone who's been playing this entire time, I think I find it very fun.